So it's Monday. Food fishery here is open on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I am going to walk out to what we call Torbay Point. I've been out here a couple of times years ago for a walk, but I've never fished out here. So I'm not exactly sure how to get down to the water, but we're going to give it a shot here and see what happens. My other location that I usually go to hasn't been producing any fish the last few days. So I thought I'd just come out for a walk tonight, a little hike and try somewhere new. That trail there heads towards uh, back towards St. John's. I think it might be Sugarloaf Trail or Red, uh, Red Cliff Trail. Somewhere out here, this trail dead ends at the end of this point called Torbay Point. And somewhere out here, you can get down to the water. But I'm not sure where, it's quite an elevation up here. So we'll see. There was a bunch of vehicles parked there. So I'm hoping that there's people down here you can see. If not, uh, I may just have gone for a walk without fishing. See the Canadian Coast Guard boat there in the distance here down patrol. There's people there in the boat fishing. And we're almost to the end of the point. So I just passed a hiker there and I didn't want to ask for permission to put her on YouTube. So she just said keep walking right out to the end here and you'll see the people down below fishing. According to her, it looks a little bit uh, hairy going down there, but we'll see. Cliff fishing is not for the faint of heart. So if you look over here into the sun, you can see uh, Little Cove Beach is the one you can see in the middle there. Outer Cove Beach is on the left in the cove, you can't quite see it. And that's the hillsides of Torbay over there in the sunshine. And way out here in the distance is uh, Flat Rock Beamer and Redhead behind it. As you can see, the trail here is coming to an abrupt end here very shortly. It's still a well-beaten trail, so people keep going. This is, act this is actually as far as I've ever been here. I've hiked up here a couple of times, but I've never gone fishing here. So I'm just sitting here on Torbay Point now, watching to see if anybody's catching any fish. And there's a couple of more people scaling their way down the rocks there. I'll zoom in now. And they're trying to get over here with these guys. Looks like those two guys are headed down closer to the water at a different spot. <clears throat> No, nope, they're just making their way along the little village to where everybody else is. That's one of the issues with the cliff fishing is hauling the fish up so far can become a common issue. You're tangling the seaweed and the racks and you break your line and stuff. You need a pretty strong line. We'll see how it holds up here and I'm gonna give it a go anyway. I'll walk down and a little closer and see if they're catching any. So I just came to the north side of Torbay Head. All the other guys were fishing on the on the south side. A little bit closer to the water here, but it's still a good ways up. But uh, these kind of people here showed me how they get down here. So I've never been down here before. And we're gonna see if they can catch any fish. <laughs> 
So I gotta put the GoPro on my head now because I need two hands to get this last little bit. I'm just gonna watch these two people here fish for a few minutes. So it's really windy here. My lawn's actually blowing way out there. So we're just gonna let this sink now and come back into our shore and see if we can hook something. Just picking up, I'm gonna move my girl for a bit. I'm here in the racks. I got a small one on now. I'm gonna try and haul it up. Oh, I lost it. Oh, I got another one on now. That's a, that's a bigger one. We're gonna try and haul this one up now. I don't know if it's gonna go over the racks or not. And the cad coming up there now. This is a kill, I don't know if I'm gonna get it. It's not very big, which is good because my line had never hauled that up anyway. There's a cat off the Torbay Point, off of Doran's Lane. Not a monster, but it's a nice little cat, I'll take it. Any bigger than that, it'd be hard to get up over the rocks anyway. There might be a few in around there, I had a couple of that cast. This one's not as big as the last one, but that's okay, because he's in really close to the rocks. If they get into kelp, you're gonna lose
people say you're not allowed to throw them back in Newfoundland. And being so high, if I didn't throw it back after rocks, he wouldn't live anyway, and I'm not going to stay very late, so I'm going to get a couple of fillets and go home with it. Yeah, that's a better one. Uh, you can come down here too, there's lots of room, I don't mind at all. Uh, I'll come next to Yeah, come on down. But I think it's, he sucks at casting, so I don't know how No trouble, no yeah. day, you can get some big ones. We've had 20 pounds on one, so I was like, Do you have? Yeah. Oh, sorry. You, you. you may have lost your Louis, you may still have it, I'm not sure. Okay. You got mine back? Not sure. I have no idea at the bottom. Oh, oh the Louis. It's here. It's here. Softness. As for yours, I think you stuck there. Thank you. Did you feel the fish at all when you first grabbed it? Nope. Oh, Alright, you've been gone. You should just catch it up. Kill some other time. So there seems to be a few more fish here now. It's uh, five after eight, which is usually the case. They start to move in here in the evenings. So I got four there. I don't have any monsters, but I'm happy with what I got. I'll catch one more now and fill them up and head back. point there down in the rough water that's where they seem to be hanging out as you can see it looks like he's headed for the seaweed yeah you got a decent one this is the tricky part getting them up over the cliffs do it. No, don't want to jinx him. And he got it. Hopefully if he doesn't get caught in the seaweed, this will be number five for the night. But he's gone in around the point. Oh, here he comes. And he's back in the seaweed. And we got him coming up on the rocks. Slowly but surely. One ledge at a time. And then we're gonna lift him. So climbing down over the cliffs is a bit of a tricky spot here. So yeah. I always fill up my fish down here. Yeah. So that way, yeah. that, that way it's uh, less, to ca less to carry back up the hill, and doesn't make as much of a mess in my kitchen, which is good for everybody. No smell to piss off the wife. <laughs> exactly. Well, there you go. Nice cat fillet. And I am by no means an expert at this filling fish. The line's actually in tension. If I pull it, I can feel the weight. And now I can feel the fish. And now begins the climb back up the cliffs.
So that folks is fishing off of Torbay Point in Newfoundland Labrador, catching Atlantic cod from the rocks. It's the first time that I fished here in this particular spot. And as you can see, it's a bit of a climb to get up the hill there. I just climbed up uh, 300 feet for sure from the ocean to where I'm at now. And uh, it was a great evening. I got my five catfish, no monsters, but I got some nice fillings for the table and the smoker and I had a great time. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget to follow us and subscribe to YouTube and Instagram. Thanks everybody, stay safe out there. It's way more fun to sit home. <laughs> Over here talking to myself now like a crazy person, right? <laughs> and if I wasn't going to go home early, I would throw it back. <laughs> Just not put it on camera. <laughs> yeah, even I can't keep that one. <laughs> I found the ocean once and it was up in fucking Hopedale. It was the fucking worst. Up in Hopedale? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's fucking freezing. <laughs> it's not fish here at all. No, I was out there laying gillnets. Okay. Gil oh, I take gillnets? Yeah. We caught up in one or? Uh, no. I got my uncle who's a dickhead and thought it'd be funny <laughs> when I had one foot on the boat and one on the rock to back up the boat and make me fall in. Nice. But we were a two hour ride from fucking shore, so it wasn't too great. Optimistically, I say I'll catch one more. Yeah, I like at the bottom. Is that you? Yeah, that one's hooked in good. So you haven't caught a catfish before? No. No? Catch one now and I'll get it on camera for you. <laughs> I feel like there's a big weight on this. Crap, should wait a couple of minutes to make the video. So when I came down here, I thought the whole way was uphill, but apparently not because I'm going back uphill now to the top of that mound there. It's a good elevation climb from where I'm at.